Barbara. Have you been here before? No. Okay, Barbara, where are you calling us from? Atlanta. ATL's in the building. How old are you, Barbara? Fifth. I'll be 57. That's okay. What do you do for a living, honey? I, um, I'm a corporate controller. Mm -hmm. I work for um, one of those high-end luxury uh, retail um, developers. Okay. Corporate controller. you have any kids? Yes. How many? I have four. Um, four. Yeah, they're about 25 and up. Give me all the ages, please. 25. Mm, 25, 30, 31, and 36. 36. All about the same man? No. How many men? Two. Two. Have you ever been married? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, did you get divorced years ago? 30 years ago. Wow, 30 years ago. Okay. There we go. <laughs> we got boss lady Barbara. All right. She come on here. She don't look bad for 57. I would say that. I guess. She talking about she was divorced 30 years ago. Don't no man want to hear that. That just sound bad. I That's the, that you hear the mileage on her. You hear the mileage when somebody if somebody said I was divorced 30 years ago, you're 57, man. Come on. Listen here. I this is uh this other thing grandma could do here. Uh horny grandma, go ahead. Get all your funds and whatever man you see desirable, you need to go to him and leave with your pocketbook. So, hey, hey there, Sonny. Listen here. Big Mama got three hots and a cot and all the Xbox you can muster. Come on. She got to share her resources wholeheartedly. Done and done. Done and done. That's it. Shout out to Third Out Wise. Said before y'all say it, yes. Because Third Eye Wise is a attractive, um, slightly older woman, if you will, all right? And she says, yes, our bodies are aging gracefully, but we still feel 30 sexually. Nah. I, you know? Hey, that's fine. But like, grandma here, she got to pay for what she wants. Age gracefully and pay gracefully. <laughs> there you go. So here we are. Before we keep going, I wanted to ask y'all a question. What do y'all think she's looking for? If she, she she keeps saying she has said about three or four times how she works for some high end developing. She letting you know it's high end. Okay. You know, she done said that about two or three times. What kind of man you look? Is she looking for this average guy? You know, five foot nine, making fifty thousand dollars a year, just Mister Forty Hours a Week, regular guy, or do she want some six foot plus, hundred k making, one percent man? Well, she needs to. Oh boy, what is she looking for? I think. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think. Let's see. She gonna tell us better than. So there we go. Put. I was gonna say, put a one in the chat if you think she's just looking for an average guy. Is she about to describe an average man? She's almost sixty. She gotta just want some type of companionship at this point. You right? would think. You would think. You know what? I'm going to go out on the limb and say she's looking for a guy her age that's retired. She's looking to retire. She's just looking to travel the world with a man her age and enjoy life. That's my guess. Okay. Let's see. I I guess I'm looking for someone at least that's well. I want a man that's well-grounded, that's educated, has his own. I don't mind if he has children, as long as he takes care of his responsibilities. Um, I like them tall, at least six three. And you want um, the guy to be at least six three? Yeah, at least six three. How tall are you? Five nine. Okay. But I wear heels, so once I wear those heels, you know, you're going to six two. I'm gonna say five nine is pretty tall for a woman. Mm -hmm. Okay, so six three. Um, nice looking. No problems, because I don't bring any to the table. And that he's ready to relax in life, like ready to enjoy his life. Because my kids basically are on their own. So I just want someone, like a companion, someone that we can just enjoy life together. Okay. So we both was on the cell, Mr. Walker. I said, maybe she's looking for a companion. You said, maybe she's looking for somebody to travel with, do stuff. So, but she said six. Three. Shout out to my man Larry. 
He said, well, that leaves me out. I'm only 5'5". Five, five. Yeah, she wildin', brother. 6'3", I leave my soul out. <laughs> they wildin' in the chat, man. I was trying to keep up, but they be going off. She won a man at 6'3". <laughs> See, that's the only thing that's off. Oh, come on, Grandma. We know you are five nine. Relax. Height at this point, just take the no height stipulations, no real granular look, you know, um restrictions. Tone it down. Be easy, grandma. She's on the right path, but she can't be demanding the damn thing. She can only hope for someone that's willing to relax, ready to relax. And enjoy life a bit. That's what I said. That's her best bet. But she can't make one stipulation. Not one. So here we go. Shout out to Don the Nick Joker. Before we move on, if you think this woman gonna ask for a hundred K, drop a hundred K in the chat. Drop a hundred K in the chat. If you think this kind, sweet woman wants a man, I don't think I think she talking. She said six three. Maybe she's one of them tall companion. I don't think she's gonna go that far. I think she if you is. think this woman gonna say honey K, drop a hundred K in the chat. We need here we if we she got enough it. if she got enough cojones to say she wanted a man at six three, she definitely won a hundred K. Okay, let's see. Right. Um do you want him in Atlanta? Yes, if possible. If possible, I'm okay. not gonna be picky. What's the age range you would date? Hmm. About, I would say between 48 and maybe 55. 48 to 55. Um, does he have to make a certain amount of money? Yes. At least 100. At least 100. Yes. So, Barbara, you. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. Here we go. All right, y'all was on this something. I was being modest. I said she just look. You see that third eye? Well, I was gonna say no. Nope. She just wanted a pension plan. We was wrong. <laughs> we was wrong, third eye. We was wrong. Nope. So here we are. This woman, almost sixty years old, and she ain't bad looking. She probably in the top percentile of women her age, right? But she wanted a man six foot three, good looking. Can move in a room full of vultures. It makes a hundred k plus. Perfect. Perfect. Why not? Why not? Just why not? I I get it. Why not? <laughs> this is wow. Like I said, this is wow. Mm -hmm. This is wow. I guess they just come on here. I keep saying this is turning to the human scratch off. You know when you get them scratch offs. First thing you see is the grand prize, right? It'd be like grand prize is 250K or something. And that, they coming on here, they want the grand prize. Yeah. They do not want to buy no $1 scratch off and then scratch your thing off and win $1. No. no. They want to buy that $1 scratch off and win whatever that maximum prize is. And that's what the Kendra shows become. They come on here and they want the greatest man alive. They don't want no couch Negroes. They don't want Mr. 40 hours a week. None of that. No. Mr. 1%. That one dollar scratch off, say I could win ten thousand dollars. I want that top prize. Hand it here. This is bad. She said, Here we go. Let's let her land her plane. She's wow. You don't you look good for an old lady. We're gonna leave it at that. You, you ain't hundred K six three, all that. Maybe so. for a good time. Who knows? Let's let her do the Kendrick cam. <laughs> Oh, Granny might be standing up and be built brazy. She might have she's a whole 57, BBL going. She's 57 years old. What are you talking about? She might have that BBL Granny going. Huh? Might be BBL Grandma. Let's see. BBL Granny. Holy hell. All right. Why not? You look pretty good. I'm assuming you date men with all these qualities, correct? Yes. So what's going on with them? Well, you know, I just moved to Atlanta about three years ago. Okay. And I really, between COVID and losing my parents, I really have not been able to say, hey, I'm going to go out there and date. So I really haven't put myself out there, to be very honest with you. Okay. Um, when was your last relationship? About two years ago. Okay. That's not that long. I mean, it, you, it could be a lot longer than two years. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? I don't have to answer, right? You do not have to answer. You are absolutely okay. right. Okay. okay. Let's do the kids, you can. 
You definitely look good. <laughs> so I just realized you're 57. Nah, you look good for 57. I'll give you that. You don't, you ain't six figures. She would look good to be married to a man for 30, 40 some years. That that'd be about it. She ain't That's all blown it. out. Yeah, she ain't. I can see she got that she got that moose foot popping too. That's a whole moose foot. <laughs> <laughs> She got that moose foot poking out. All right. All right. See, her husband, her, her husband of 30 years would have been happy to receive that moose hoof. But <laughs> y'all here single. Just, Granny got them pants all hyped up tight. Granny, you don't pull them pants down. Something you need to stop. Uh, <laughs> there you go, Larry. A moose knuckle. Yeah, she got that moose knuckle, baby. <laughs> stop that, Don. Don. Don, stop that. Ain't nobody pulling up on this, sister. <laughs> hey, y'all wildin'. Melody Day once hit that fat monkey. Y'all wildin'. <laughs> gotta stop. Man. Yeah, get him third out, Ross. He said, y'all crazy. Y'all are effing crazy. Leave yeah. Granny alone with that moose knuckle. All right. She got Granny go get something. <laughs> That's what they ain't going to <laughs> Nug ain't no bounds for Nug Nug. There is a Nug Nug really for any woman. Really. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, y'all off the hook. Y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right. We don't normally do this much bantering. Y'all bring this out of us. Me and, me and Mr. Walker, we kind people. We don't do this. Uh, <laughs> definitely look good. <laughs> so I just realized you're 57. So you want to date somebody younger than you? Yes. Okay. Yes, definitely. I, I'm very skeptical about the age, only because I like to take care of myself. I have a lot of energy. So... If I'm going to date a man in his 50s, we have to have that compatibility. You know, you got to eat healthy. I don't need any meat. I don't do any dairy. So I want someone that's going to be able to take care of himself and has a lot of stamina. Okay. Yeah. Or, we want to also, is that a vegan? What you just said, no meat and no dairy? You know, um, those are just choices. So I don't really classify it as a vegan. It Fair enough. Be right i just choose not to eat certain things because of my family history so i haven't had me for like 30 years 25 years sorry 25 years so could could he eat me or that bother yeah, you no, no i don't i don't judge i choose not to but i would like him to take care of himself so there you go granny said i'm still in shape i take care of myself i don't want no man my age because they can't keep it up granny said i need a young man in his 40s to come handle grandma, all right? You gotta come tame this cat. Wow! You gotta come, come on now. Granny said, you gotta come tame me now. I need a young man. Let's say That's you, it. Mr. Walker. That's it. And then- uh, I sure you know, like you always say, if she really take care of herself, she talking to talk. Yes, but she gotta be willing to play the game. And the game is you gotta pay to play at this age, nah, nah. You all horned up. You want that young man? You want that young gigolo? Come in there and and uh, tickle your fancy in between the sheets. You gonna have to break bread. Mister Hundred K ain't coming. That's where you can stop. There, he ain't showing up. You got to pay to play at this age. Yeah, and you got to come in there. Yeah, that's basically what she's saying. Shout out to all the old brothers. You know, she she could just be talking. This is don't stereotyping and stuff all right granted because like like uh larry said up here she's saying all this but what about in the bedroom like she could talk to talk but like you said can granny still bend her knees can granny still do certain positions don't know not saying she can't all right courtney courtney love said it best green card bay that's who she won't she can find her six foot four Jamaican green card bay come in there and break that bid down. There you go, Courtney. 100K. Love. 100K. 
No, she got it. She must abandon that thought. <laughs> All right, she oh. must abandon that altogether. Okay. Green Car Bay is her best bet, really, because Green Car Bay. I I second that motion. Third it. That'd be her best bet. Shout out third out wise. She say 50-year-old black men look 10 years older than 50-year-old black women a lot of times. I'm guessing that's the comparison. There that's there is some truth in that. Yeah. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna give you too much pushback. Like true. I said, we all gotta take better care of ourselves. So that's a fact. Okay, and that's why you want to do younger, 48 to 55. Okay, <laughs> so why do you think you're single, Barbara? Because I haven't really put myself out there. Okay. I guess and it's my choice. It, my choice. Mm -hmm. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Listen, I am I'm medicated. I'm well-grounded. I'm financially stable. Um, and I'm ready to enjoy life. I like to travel. I like to play golf. Um, I like to smoke my cigars here and there. So... I think I have a lot of qualities to bring to the table. Okay. If he made less than 100 k is that negotiable or not? Yeah. I mean, I just want him to be stable. You know, um, if he makes 80, I'm okay with that. But I don't think I could go any more than less than 80. Only because okay. I lead a certain lifestyle. I don't want him to take care of me. I want him to be able to take care of his responsibilities and still be able to enjoy life. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's do it, Barbara Atlanta. So Barbara, coming off a little masculine, she started talking about smoking cigars and stuff. I don't want my lady smoking cigars. I know women smoke cigars, nothing against that. And maybe men like that. I don't want my lady smoking no cigar. Before we do, shout out the uh, third eye why she say she got to get out of here. She got a flight to catch. She go say she going to get her a green card, babe. All right. Listen, bring them up here. Let let me and Mr. Walker vet them for you. We'll do a coaching call, if you will. You part of Patreon. That's our gift to you, Third Eye Wise. That's our gift to you. If you do meet this man and you want us to vet him, you know, we'll do a coaching call and we can all sit down and me and Willie vet this man. Mr. Walker, we'll vet this man for you and make sure you're making a good, wise decision. You mute it. You mute it up. But yeah, I think that's in the card. Just just a warning. Me and Mr. Gavin next can smell bullshit from a mile away. So the green card bay up here talking about some wild-ish. Sound like Stella got a group back. We we'll let you know. And shout out PC76. He says, stay safe, third eye wise, and please stay away from L Nug Nug. Because if you think Nug Nug ain't a bride. That's where the confusion starts. Don't think, oh, I ain't in America no more. I'm safe. Incorrect. Dude, that's just Nug Nug with a British accent or Jamaican accent. There you go. That's all. So don't, don't let that fool you. But yeah, this woman here, like you said, 57 years old. She want, to, she want the same... She is looking for the same exact man that a 28-year-old woman on. with no kids. A beautiful 28-year-old woman with no kids still fit on her shit. She is looking for the same man as grandma. They, they compete for the same man. There you go. Paint that picture. So you got Mr. You know, 45-year-old man making 100 k or more, and he got he got to choose between Bonquisha with a couple kids or 57 year old grandma who got kids but they they gone these are his choices he ain't looking too good for mr 100k it's it ain't very fair for mr 100k look at what you got to choose from episode from episode it ain't it ain't in his favor and as my man larry said barbara is looking to get her freak on i agree and as we hit on a lot around here when we get these ultra boss independent resourceful women Hats off to you. There is no, we don't have a problem with y'all. The problem lies when you come up here with your hypergamous nature. There you go. And you want a man equally yoked, quote unquote. When you need to simply go into your nearest Starbucks, drive through a Walmart parking lot, find that brother pushing them buggies with that high vis vest on, Ooh. tell him to get in, tell him you got heated seats, tell him you got hot chocolate, 
and take care of that brother. That's it. That's it. Take him on, put him in the S class, take him home, wow him with all the trinkets that you have acquired of your life, and share. Share. Start handing them keys, giving the Wi Fi password. You got to share. At this point, hypergamy is forfeited and you got to pay to play. There you are, Grandma, Gra Granny, Nana. Have your freaky self a freaky good time. So there you go. She ain't bad looking. And like you said, go go find you some brother that then dropped out of some D2 college, all right? And he felt like he should have went D1, so he still got a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> so he going to give it to you like you like it, Grandma, all right? He, you want that brother that get that chip on his shoulder that feel like he should have made it to the league? He going to take all that aggression out on you. So go find him, Grandma. Mess around and break your hip. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. You know, Grandma, fragile. That's another thing. Y'all come up here talking that talk. Knowing damn well you be a little bit fragile. You don't want some young 40-year-old brother who's still in shape, some old uh, Cali muscle built of a come in here and try to break you in half, Grandma. Stop she, said, she said, she said, she said, hold her cigar, her wine. <laughs> And shout out to PC Sunny He said, yeah, that hot chocolate. Go ahead and pull up on one of them brothers. If you're in the cold city, not in like Florida, you know, Texas, but if you're up north somewhere, pull up to your local Target, Walmart. You see that brother out there pushing that, pushing the carts, and he got the vest, the high-vis vest, and he cold. Pull up. Say, I got heated seats. I got hot chocolate. I bet you he get in, he going to treat you right. There you go. Tell him, look, the little $18 an hour you making here, Eighteen, the, the fifteen, the fifteen, nine seventy-five. God, son, God. All right, the ten dollars you make it here, little nug nug. Now I'm not gonna take care of that. I cover that, baby. Come on, get in the S class. Put that cart down. Don't worry about get putting your two weeks notice in. Take him and take him in and take care of him. Get. Make him a fool to leave you, freaky nana. -na, and you got a shot. There you go. So, yeah, we're giving out jewels, gems, rubies, and uh, all that, and ice cubes. Y'all better <laughs> take what we dropping on y'all, man. I'm trying to tell you. Older sisters with resources, younger. Don't matter. If you're in an unfortunate circumstance with resources, and if you, you know, ditch your hypergamy. That's my only thing, man. And that's the realest shit I can say tonight. We have to ditch your hypergamous nature. That's it. I get it. You done, you done made yourself. You done got the king's gold, as Mr. Walker say. But you are not a man. You are not a man. Yeah, she definitely moving better than Bone Quisha third eye wise for sure. She got a shot. But as Gavin said, hypergamy must be, she must abandon hypergamy. 100. Yeah, the brother can even be 6'3". He might be 6'3". Yes. But he might card. also work for Amazon. You got to accept that. I'm stressing green card, baby. 6'4", 6'5", 6'6". She want height and she want stroke gain. Green card, baby. Yeah, she can easily buy that. Part. She can buy that. Mm -hmm. That is – she, she can get that. It's tangible. But as soon as you throw six figures in there – now that man has an option. He has to make this choice. You don't you are out of the equation. But when you get this brother that ain't got no bread, you in control. You got the gold. You can't go to a man with the gold and try to make any choice. He ain't trying to hear it. There you I'm go. Telling you. That's it. That's why hypergamy must be abandoned wholeheartedly. Take what you can get. Learn, learn the rules to this new game you have entered. Because you're still trying to play the game of hypergamy, obviously. And it's over for that. Yeah, that's bad. Uh, shout out to Courtney Love. Says she's past menopause, right? I don't know. I know, doctor. What y'all yeah, say? Y'all yeah. ladies in the chat, y'all know, is she? 57 pushing 60, I would imagine, yes. So they said What is really menopause? I don't know. That shit, she can't. If she cannot, she done I, dropped I've heard head. the word, but words mean things, and we don't. We got it. It, she no, dropped her last egg. She she shan't not get pregnant. So there you go. Y'all can shoot up the club all you want. All right, but what is it? Got to be something 
You know what I mean? What is your body going through in that stage? Don't know. Much too young to try to figure that shit out. Tell you that right now. <laughs> that ain't on the table. So, I, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Man. That, that, okay. That. Shout out to Mel81. She said hot flashes. Man, yep. the pause. I should get my Googles on, huh? Is that what y'all want me to do? Well, shoot, yeah, I think menopause, that's when a woman, they done dropping their eggs, it's over, and they go through some hormonal challenge. They have hot flashes and all that. Yeah, cycles is over. So they yeah, buy Courtney Lussie. Yeah, every woman goes through it for sure. We just mm -hmm. trying to figure out at what age and what are the side effects, if you will, you know? Well, yeah, does menopause fight. does menopause benefit a man? It's called men opause. <laughs> so, so here we go. Sound it out. Men pause. Men pause. No more box. Men on the pause. All right. That means men. If you the man with this woman, you on the pause, brother. It's no box. box. It's still box. The box just can't nothing come out of the box. Something go into the box, nothing come out the box. <laughs> no, because a lot of times, even then, they don't even like uh, intercourse like that much no more. It's oh. all over. Yeah, menopause is over. Okay. okay. My understanding. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's, it's deeper than that, Mr. Walker. That's what I'm trying to say. They don't okay. even in the mood, but they just want companions. They just want to travel and shit. Okay. So, but freaky grandma talking about she needs stamina. So has she not hit menopause? Well, when you that old, she probably ain't been beat down in a long time. So she asking for something she ain't got no clue about. <laughs> oh, so she don't even know what she asking for, huh? Exactly. Okay. It's like a kid asking you to have some of your beer or something. You like, okay. You know what I mean? What okay. kind of deal? You know, and then you be like, go oh, ahead, you get a kid. You get a kid some alcohol now. He drunk. You see, walking into walls. You like you don't give a kid alcohol. You don't give grandma no quality D. She gonna be acting wild. All like you said, break her hip or something. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Giving kids alcohol. Another hood normal. <laughs> there you go. All right. I'm just trolling up here. Third eye wise. We gonna get out the air. You know we listen. Don't know. This stuff, we don't know. We still young men. I don't know. <laughs> we were just diving deep. But I broke the word down. Men, oh, pause. To me, it sounds like men on the pause. No box. That's I read between that line. That's all I'm saying. I tell you what, I don't think the, uh, I don't know. I would imagine that the sex drive, I don't know. Like You said it best, man. We too early even think about that. Yeah. I know, I so know. before we get out of here tonight, make sure y'all hitting the cash app. We get a couple more. Even after the show, we hit the goal. Even if it's tomorrow, we still got goals to hit. So yeah. don't hesitate to hit it. Even when you get paid, maybe you're sitting there like, man, Gavin next and Mr. Walker, I don't get paid till Friday. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Send it when you can. That's all. We appreciate just, it. Just like our clients. Sometimes our clients... Don't pay us for weeks, you know, two weeks, three weeks, you know. <laughs> Shout out to Nikki DeSantis if you watch it. <laughs> and the third I watch, I said, yes, she does. Y'all wait and see. You'll be surprised. She say, y'all going to eat your words in 15 years from now. I hope I do. I hope I so. Hope. Yes. Yeah. We are not. Listen, we don't mind being stood corrected. Yeah, at, at all, at all, especially when there's something more negative. I don't mind being wrong about, you know, negative outlooks. Because if I'm wrong, then I mean things is going right. And I'm fine with You that. see what I'm saying? You start growing old with your old lady and you're thinking, man, she going to hit menopause and not want it anymore. But third eye wife said that's not correct. And I would be pleasantly surprised if it ain't yes. the case. Thank you for that hope, third eye wise. Thank you. Much love. <laughs> but in the words of PC76, men on pause. You heard it here first. That's what I think it is, brother. We're going to have to dub that around here. Men on pause. Over. I got hope. I got hope, third out wise. I'm on that crazy train with you. I think we good. No men on pause. I don't like that. <laughs>
I don't know, man. So there we go. Granny here. Here we go. We ain't get to do it in a minute. But she did not want to budge. All right. We tried to save her, get her back on the road. She didn't want to. So in honor of the Godfather, whose birthday was yesterday, Ashe, brother. All right. Respect. And here we go. Good luck, Granny. Um, you gotta get rid of that price tag on the vehicle. You want there too you much go. of that used Honda. There you go. Go ahead and find Green Car Bay. It take good care of you. Good care of you, Nana. Yes. So with that being said, we hope y'all.